Hello and welcome back to Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator Project. Now, something that I didn't mention before is the fact that uh, in order to get rotation uh, with, with the magnet, with the stator magnet held in this position, like we did before, uh, it has to interact with the rotor magnets in a certain way, like this, to cause rotation. Um, it, can, it can start rotation anywhere in the group, you see, except at the very start of the group. Now if, I, if I place a magnet such, it uh, it wants to repel. You have north here and north here, so it's going to repel, right? Push it away. Uh, so I've got to get past that. Uh, that's what we call the sticky point. I have to get past that. Right in here. Right about where this north pole will be over this magnet, and the south pole will be over the north. Uh, and that's where the rotation wants to begin, you see? If I let go of the wheel, it wants to begin. But here, no, that's no good. I have to start here. Okay. Now, this does cause a, a problem in that it slows down rotation. Uh, when we have it in this mode, and that's why we had to raise the stator before to uh, to get it to work. But now that we have the north-south, north-south facing arrangement, it's going to be a different story. Uh, because I'll have the hard drive magnet in this position uh, going across the wheel. Now watch what happens. The south face of the magnet will be working in conjunction with the north face of the rotor magnet group. The south is going to pull it in with no problem. Let me show that to you again. The south face draws the group in. Now, of course, when we get to the second group, this, we don't want the south facing the south of the next group because here's what will happen. We'll have repulsion that will send it back the other way. So what we do, we move the magnet so the north faces the south second group of magnets. Have south over north for the first group, north over south for the second group, and then we bring it back again, okay. oscillating back and forth with each group. Now another thing that's going to help, if we can time this properly, the um, south group picks up here over the north, propelling it forward. And what we like to do is, uh, you can see it's, it's kind of weak at the back end here. Okay? What we want to do is move the mag... Ooh, that's a lot of force right there. <laughs> what we want to do is move this stator magnet over slowly over the group so that it's in the north position, or very close to it, right at the back end, okay? As the last rotor magnet passes by, we want the north to be over it to repel it away, see? And that assists us, gives us further rotational effect, and a very strong one, too. The um, repulsion force at the back end can be very strong. I'll show you what I mean. See that? So we have attraction at the front and repulsion at the back simply by moving the stator magnet like that. 
Attraction, repulsion. Now, when we get to the second group, like I said before, we want the north to remain in uh, position over the south. So we're having south, north here. We keep the north oriented over the second magnet group and slowly bring it back to south at the end see, to get that repulsion effect again. Now the south is already lined up for the north of the next group and we should be moving this slowly across the group, very slowly, so that we're having the north giving a repulsion effect at the back end and north is drawing in the next group, so the south south-facing group and bringing it back to the south again at that end with the south aligned for the next group. So, you know, you have to be very careful in holding this in your hand because, uh, like I say, you reach that point of no return where you just can't keep things going. Um, that magnet's just going to want to slam down onto the wheel or slam down onto uh, one of the rotor magnets. I've got my fingers underneath of it so I, so I don't damage the, uh, the rotor magnets, but uh, that can hurt too when, you're, when your hand slams down here, when you're in attraction mode. Uh, have a north over the south. See, it wants to Got to use quite a bit of force to keep that from slamming down, and it's hard to pull that away. <laughs> so, like I say again, we want north, south, south, north, north, south, south, north, north. South, south, north, north, south, south, north. Now you see how quickly that wheel gets going into rotation. And it'll continue to accelerate as long as we can keep that uh, timing uh, perfect in that very mode of timing. This wheel is going to accelerate and continue to accelerate. Of course, there'll be some point where it can't accelerate any further. But um, I have a feeling that if I can time this perfectly, it's going to go pretty fast. And uh, as you can see, it was already spinning quickly. So thanks for watching uh, Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator. And uh, I'll be back again with more.